a devotion about the Michigan State shootings. What do you say when you don't know what to say? Nothing. Instead, we listen. Hear the word of the Lord from the book of Lamentations, chapter 3. I am the one who has seen affliction under the rod of God's wrath. He has driven and brought me into darkness without any light. Against me alone he turns his hand again and again all day long. He has made my flesh and my skin waste away and broken my bones. He has besieged and enveloped me with bitterness and tribulation. He has made me sit in darkness like the dead of long ago. He has walked me about so that I cannot escape. He has put heavy chains on me, though I call and cry for help. He shuts out my prayer. He has blocked my ways with hewn stones. He has made my paths crooked. He is a bear lying in wait for me, a lion in hiding. He led me off my way and tore me to pieces. He has made me desolate. He bent his bow and sent me as a mark for his arrow. He shot into my vitals the arrow of his quiver. I have become the laughing stock of all my people, the object of their taunt songs all day long. He has filled me with bitterness. He has seeded me with wormwood. He has made my teeth grind on gravel and made me cower in ashes. My soul is bereft of peace. I have forgotten what happiness is, so I say gone is my glory and all that I had hoped for from the Lord. The thought of my affliction and my homelessness is wormwood and gall. My soul continually thinks of it and is bowed down within me. But this I call to mind and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. I invite you to take three deep breaths with me and pray. Our hope is in you, Lord, and we lift up before you the names of those who were lost, and we pray for their families. Alexandria Werner, Ariel Anderson, Ryan Frazier. Be with their families and friends and all who love them and mourn them, and be with those in the hospital now. Bring them to health and wholeness, and be with their families as well. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.